I want to know where they quarried, quarried this marble and if it was done in a humanitarian fashion. <laughs> How are you? How does it feel to be holding one of those, Colin? Uh... How does it feel? It feels, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of over it already. <laughs> no, it's surreal. <laughs> ah, it's surreal, what people have said before, you know, it's, it's not what I expected, man. And um, didn't expect anything, didn't expect a nomination, didn't, none of us really did, to be honest. I mean, this, you know, it's, it is a, a fairly small film, not that small films don't get recognized, of course, it's a lovely film, but, but it was in February it came out and it didn't get seen by that many people and... So we really didn't expect anything. Myself and Brendan and Martin and, and those involved in the film who are here and were nominated uh, were just thrilled with that and shocked with that. And it's like Spielberg said, you know, it's like you've got to keep making these small little films. And if this isn't a reminder of, you know, not that it's about getting awards, but that right there says, hey, good job picking the small little film. Yeah, I mean, if this film just keeps giving, man, it's a generous film, you know. We really didn't expect it. I mean, the, the process of making it was so pure and was such a... Such a cool time, apart from being stuck in Bruges for ten weeks. Now it's a beautiful city, but <laughs> sh no, now it's a beautiful city. But um, really is. But but you know, yeah, for it to to have affected the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press the way it obviously did, that's a it speaks multitudes for Martin's work and and everyone who was part of the film. You know, I realised I didn't thank Rafe and I didn't thank Clemence Posey and Jeremy Renier and Jordan Prentice and I didn't thank Focus. For, so many people. I, I didn't expect that at all. Man. Well, it just, it just washes over. I didn't expect You're it standing at all. up there like. Uh, I didn't, uh, yeah, I mean, cause your tongue. Who do you see when you look at that? Like, whose face popped out? Like, uh. yeah, you see, I see no. I didn't look new. No, didn't look at anybody. No, my trajectory went straight out, man, parallel to the floor. I wasn't looking <laughs> down at all. Last thing I need to do is catch someone's scary eyes. So. Uh, what do you do tonight? I mean, back in the back in the day, the Farrell would have gone for a run, and I would have. Back chased in the you. day, this would be a, a three-day session. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the start of a long walk to losing this <laughs> thing in someone's car. <laughs> going, I don't know. The last time I saw it is, but now, man, look, I'll just I'll go out tonight. I'll go, you know, see who's doing what, and I'll I'll drink. Diet Coke until I get twitchy and then I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and I swear to God, it suits me. You know, you know I watched Mickey Rourke a second ago. I know, but I'm so happy for him. For best actor. So There's a guy who was a wild man, right? Yeah, Got himself man. on track. You. I was Mary Poppins compared to, to Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Rourke, right? And tonight, it's you get yourself together, you focus on the work, you're saved, you have a huge night. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky, brother. I'm lucky.